What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to my very first episode of my Cameroon series for the month of April. If you're new, what's up? My name is Yaira, but feel free to call me Yaya. And this entire month, all my videos will be Cameroon related. All right. Why? Because I have noticed that those get a lot of traction on my channel, surprisingly. And it makes me so happy that you're interested in the culture of the country in which I was born. You like me right now. And today we're doing interesting interesting facts about Cameroon, take two. I posted my first interesting facts about Cameroon back in July, where I discussed where Cameroon was located, the flag colors and significance, the languages spoken, and I delved a wee bit into politics. That video is of course linked down below. And today we're discussing things Cameroon is known for, aka climate and economy. And no worries, it will sound exactly like a geography lesson, Damn. but a very interesting one. No graphs, pie charts, long longitudes and latitudes and such. So let's go. Let's start with the climate because that ultimately affects the economy, i.e. cash crops, which are exported crops. Much like here in Florida, where hurricane season starts June through November, I remember it raining most, if not every single day in the summer months, through half of the first term of school, and then being dry and dusty around Christmas through Easter, called the Hermatan season, also known as Hamatan. Now that might have slightly changed what with climate change and all. Nevertheless, Cameroon remains one of the wettest places Places on earth, making the soil fertile and conducive for cultivating a variety of crops, including tea, cocoa, coffee, rubber, bananas, peanuts, and cotton, which are exported. Half of the coffee y'all drink from Starbucks is probably from Cameroon. I said what I said! Just saying, planters peanuts, maybe from Cameroon. Only we call peanuts groundnuts or granots. I wouldn't be surprised if the cocoa used for Ghirardelli chocolate is from Cameroon. Is it Ghirardelli or Ghirardelli? In fact, according to two articles which I will link down below for your fact-checking purposes, Cameroon makes roughly $600 million from exporting cocoa alone. You said that way? Which is why the road infrastructure in Cameroon, or lack thereof, still baffles me. But that's a topic for later. Other raw materials Cameroon exports are timber, oil, aluminum, and gold. And speaking of gold, Cameroon also brews its own beer. Brasseries du Cameroon was the brewing company I was the most familiar with when I was growing up. If you're into laggers, you will love beer from Cameroon. From Castel and Beaufort to Trois Trois Expo and Tuborg. What's even tastier than the beer though is the local soft drinks. Malta Guinness and Gino are my faves. Malta Guinness is not that much different from the Malta you would find in the Hispanic section of Walmart or Publix. Only Malta Guinness is much thicker. Gino, on the other hand, is a fruit juice cocktail of pineapples, peaches, papaya, passion fruit, mango, oranges, and guava basically all tropical fruits, perfect to quench your thirst during the dry season, which incidentally is commonwealth season as well. As previously mentioned, Cameroon is bilingual. English and French are the two official languages spoken, making Cameroon a part of both the Commonwealth of Nations and the International Organization of La Francophonie, which is very rare. Canada is the only other country which is part of both organizations. Our national soccer team is fire. I'm not sure how good they are presently because I haven't watched the World Cup in the last, well, since I came to the US nearly 20 years ago. But back when I was a kid, Roger Mila and Oma B were the goats. Songs were written about them, Roger Mila in particular. No one can replicate his famous pole dancing whenever he scored a goal. He was the reason Cameroon became the first African soccer team to reach the World Cup's quarterfinals. Pretty big deal, good times. Not so good times getting around town or even traveling out of the city on bad roads. I remember distinctly there being more paved roads with potholes in them and on paved roads in the capital city of Yaoundé where I grew up than there were smooth roads. The last time I was there in 2012, it had improved but only slightly. I hope to be wowed when I next visit. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, show your girl some love by liking and subscribing. And I'll be back next week with a video about my culture shock my first few months here in the US. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now. I can help you out. I can help you out. I can help you out. Here we go, here we go
again Time is up and I'm calling up my friends Ain't no wonder why, ain't no wonder why 